and today i'm going to show you how you can edit a portrait step by step using some actions hi there guys my name is Aaron, and you can learn make and create together with me in adobe photoshop today i'm going to show you how you can retouch a portrait step by step using some actions so without any further ado let's get started <laughs> So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see this portrait is looking amazing but before we start retouching this portrait make sure to check all the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and the retouching actions so after you have downloaded the retouching actions you have to click here on the window and click actions click on three lines and click here that says load actions and here you have the Creative Bundle Pack 2023. And today we are going to work with the Makeup Artist Retouching Actions 2023 and click load. So this is the way you have uh, to install the actions. As you can see, Makeup Artist Retouching Actions are installed. And you have to click here on the background and click here that says clean plus black and white help layer. Click play. After we do that, as you can see here, we have a clean layer that says clean here and the black and white help layer. So when we click uh, on the clean and when we click play, as you can see, the spot healing brush is automatically selected so we are going to clean the portrait with the spot healing brush tool i'm gonna zoom in where i want to start cleaning right now i will uh, switch between them three tools that is spot healing brush tool healing brush tool and patch tool uh, as you can see i made them with shortcuts jk and l so i'm gonna switch between them three tools while i'm cleaning this portrait so i'm gonna start with the spot healing brush tool and when I type L, as you can see, patch tool is automatically selected. So I'm going to keep working with them three tools. So here's a before and after what we've done so far into this portrait with the cleaning. And I think that is looking okay. Now that we are done with the clean, it's time for the separation. So I'm just going to merge them both. Right click and merge layers. I'm gonna click here on the frequency separation. Once that is done, you have to click here to open the group and click here on the color. So in the frequency separation, we have to work uh, first in the color and after we are done with the color, we have to work on the in the texture. So for the color, we have to work with the mixer brush. So the right settings for the mixer brush are wet by 10%, load by 45, mix by 45, flow by 33. And I'm gonna zoom in here in the forehead where I want to start mixing the colors. So I'm just going to make a soft drum brush. As you can see, I'm working with a basic soft drum brush, making a smaller brush, and I'm going to start mixing the skin tones. You can turn on the black and white help layer uh, if you want to uh, check what's going on under the colors. For example, you can turn on the black and white help layer and you can see the eye bags and everything else. Make sure that when you are uh, working with a mixer brush, the uh, sample all layers is unchecked because if it's checked and uh, we have the black and white help layer and we keep uh, working on the color just like that. As you can see, we have uh, created a sample from all the layers that are inside the layer panel. So make sure that is unchecked and keep working until uh, you think that color is okay. And once you think that you are done with the frequency separation, with a color inside you have to click here on the texture and you're gonna zoom in where you want to start cleaning this portrait so the texture is uh, the layer on top of the color and if you think that you didn't clean the portrait in the beginning you have to click here on the clone stamp tool zoom in with 100% opposite 100% flow you have to copy paste the texture and this is the way that you clean the portrait so you have to click alt keyboard and click to make a sample or to copy and just paint uh, to paste just like that so make sure to copy paste as near as possible in the texture because uh, for example if you copy the texture here and you paste it here as you can see the texture doesn't fit the portrait and it will start to look fake so make sure to copy paste as near as possible So here we have a before and after what we've done so far into this portrait and you can zoom in and check a before and after every time. As you can see, as I said before, uh, we need some highlights here and to put some dodge and burn into this portrait, just click here on dodge and burn and click play. Open the dodge and burn, click on dodge and click before brush. Make sure that your brush is the soft round or whatever brush that you're working. Uh, but 
uh, I'm using a general brush that is soft round and for the opacity I'm gonna go by 10% flow by depends like 50 or something like that and I'm just gonna start putting some highlights into this portrait just like that so here's the before and after all the dodge and I think that is looking okay now click here on the burn because we are gonna put some contours into the portrait and here's the before and after and I think it's looking good but I'm gonna reduce the opacity of the burn I think that 75 will be enough I'll check before and after again and yeah I think it's okay and uh, when you zoom out as you can see we still have some a bag uh, under eye bags so uh, the issue is I think that in the color so you have to zoom in and start working with the mixer brush again until uh, we remove that because I don't like them as they look and since we messed up the colors in this part I'm gonna make a sample from this by clicking on this uh, eyedropper tool and click here to make a sample and as you can see the sample is from this part so with the brush and 10% opposite and I think that 20 of the flow I'm just gonna paint here and I think that is okay I'll turn on the dodge burn so here's the before and after of everything that we've done into this portrait and once we are done with the focus separation and dodge and burn it's time for some makeup details so I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna play the smoky eyes and I'm gonna play two times all the eyeshadows that says pick a color I'm gonna click here on the smoky eyes with B and 10% abacid and 100% flow I'm just gonna paint it here to create some nice shadows for the eye makeup now click here on the eyeshadows that says pick a color so uh, you can choose whatever color that you want for example I'm gonna make a sample from the color of the lips which is a light pink I'm gonna zoom in here and you can start painting just like that and as you can see this tool is great for makeup artists so if you're a makeup artist make sure to get this action because they are really good for makeup and here's a before and after now I'm gonna make a darker color from this I think that I'm gonna go here and just paint it on the sides. If you do is kind of too much, so I'm gonna go by only 10% of the opacity. Make sure that to make this process in both of them, like that. So here's the before and after. And I think that is kind of too much. So I'm gonna reduce it just a little and create a mask here with a dark brush, 100% opacity. I'm just gonna paint it out, this part. Not that much, just a little. So here's before and after again and I think that is looking okay. Now on the other eyeshadows it says pick a color layer. I'm gonna go with a dark or black color and I'm gonna paint here on the eyelashes but with 10% opacity of the brush. So here's before and after. I'm gonna reduce it just a little and make another one. Zoom in and when I uh, made the sample from the lips color, I'm gonna go with a lighter one, just like that. And I'm gonna paint it here to create some highlights. And I think it's looking okay. Now back again to the first color, because I think that I'm gonna put some color here, but I removed with the layer mask, so I'm gonna put it back. Just like that. So here's before and after of everything. Now I'm gonna click here that says eyeshadow pop and click play. With 100% brush, I'm just gonna paint it here on the makeup details or eye makeup, as you can see a before and after. I'm gonna reduce it by 20. Now I'm gonna zoom in again and I'm gonna click here on the darkened eyebrows and darkened eyelashes. So I'll click here on the darkened eyebrows. If you want to make the eyebrows darker, you have to paint it just like that. 
And if you think that is kind of too much, you can always reduce the opacity. Now click here on the darker eyelashes and you can paint over them. So here's the before and after. And if you think it's too much, you can always lower the opacity of the everything. So here is the before and after again. And I think that we are done with the makeup uh, of the eye. Now I'm going to create a lipstick color. So I'm just going to click here on the lipstick color and click play. Turn on a lipstick color. And I'm going to create a selection around the lips with a pen tool. Right click, make selection. And for the feather radius, I think that I'm going to go with two. And as you can see, I switched uh, the color that is under is white. So we have the uh, black layer mask. So I'm just going to click Control and Delete. And here we have a lipstick color. You can check all of them one by one until you find the best lipstick color for your preferences. And I think this one is looking really amazing, but I'm going to check them one by one again. And if you think that none of them fits your style, you can just double click here and you can choose whatever color that you want. For example, you can go with a green, you can play around with colors, but I think that I'm going to stick with this one, which is kind of red or cherry color, as you can see. But I think that uh, I'm going to reduce it by 25. But before I do that, as you can see, the shape is kind of too harsh. So I'm just going to double click here and I'm going to increase the feather just a little. And I think it's OK. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity of the group. I think that 55 will be enough. Sorry. Now check it before and after. And I think it's kind of too much again. So I'm going to go by 25. And yes, 25 is OK. Now that we are done with the lipstick color, I'm going to click here on the cheeks and click play. As you can see, we have some cherry cheeks color. So we have to paint over the cheeks just like that. As I said uh, before, uh, this is nice for the makeup artists. So here we have a before and after. And I'm going to reduce them just a little more. So here's before and after of everything that you've done into this portrait. Now that we're done with makeup details, uh, we got a lot of here going on, but I think that some of them are enough. I'm going to click here on the sharpen, click play, click stop, click OK, and click here on the bait. Uh, sorry, for the sharpen, you have to delete again because, as you can see, we created a sharpen layer from the straight out of camera. You have to click here and click again sharpen, click continue, click OK. Click stop and as you can see it's a dark uh, layer mask so we have to switch into the white so click control and I to switch the, oops, the color. You can zoom in and here we have the sharpen layer. I think that 100% is kind of too much so I'm going to reduce it by 35 maybe. 5 is enough. Now click here on the basic contrast, face contour and click play. Wait until it's done. So here we have the basic contrast. And I think that is looking OK, but uh, I think that we have to reduce it by 75%. And here we have the face contour, one of my favorite tools. So you have to double click here if you want to make changes on the highlights, uh, mid tones and shadows. So you can just move this around. And here you can see the changes that are going on inside the portrait. So here is a before and after. And I'm going to reduce it by 50%. Now, again, a before and after of entire process. And I think it's OK. Now I'm going to make a copy of the background and click Shift keyboard, hold it and click here, right click. 
and group from layers and rename retouch. I'm going to create another group by drag and drop this into the plus and right click merge group. So here we have only a single layer because we are going to make some changes uh, with the liquify. So I'm going to make another copy of this, click here and click liquify because we are going to make some changes here on the arms. Zoom out just a little and make the changes. Here's a before and after what we've done so far. I'm going to zoom in and make some changes on the lips. And once you're done, you can click P keyboard to check a before and after, or you can click here on the preview. And I think that we are looking good. I'm just going to click OK. And now that we're done with the liquify or shape tools, I'm going to change the color of the background. So I'm going to click here on the remove background. But before I do that, I'm going to create another copy and click here on the remove background. You have this, uh, it's called uh, contextual taskbar. Uh, if you have the latest Photoshop version, so I'm just going to turn off everything else that is under the uh, layer that we remove the background. So I'm going to click here under and click solid color. And here we have uh, the solid color, color picker. And you can choose whatever color that you want for your background. And I think that I'm going to stick with kind of the same color that is on the body, but a lighter one, something like this, maybe a different one. And I think that I'm going to stick with this one. Uh, the code color is B17E53. Click OK. So here we have a before and after of everything. You can zoom in in the edges if you want to see a before and after of them. And I think that we're looking pretty good, except uh, some parts here uh, of the hair. You can enter the layer mask. And uh, with a blur tool, you can just blur them edges. You can zoom out. And here we still have some. And if you want to make changes again, for example, with a brush, you can just uh, paint them out just like that. You can check all the edges. And if they're looking good, they are good to go. So I'm just going to move them out by painting out some of them. And these edges are too harsh, so I'm going to click here on the Blur tool. And I'm just going to paint them. As you can see, I'm working inside the layer mask. So make sure that you are working inside the layer mask too. I'm going to brush them all this part because so here we have a before and after. For example, you can even put some shadows behind it, the shadows. For example, I'm going to create shape here, for example, to create a shadow, as you can see before and after, but I'm going to reduce it by 20%. And now that we're done with everything else, it's time for some color grade. So I'm just going to make a group from these and group from layers, rename again, retop two, and make another copy, right click, Merge group, click Ctrl A for make a selection of this entire entire window, click Ctrl C to copy and go to file new and click create, paste this into this another layer, merge them and click on the color grade light skin actions that are inside the color uh, cradle bundle pack 2023 and check them one by one. And I think that I'm going to stick with the uh, A2, so I'm just going to drag and drop this into the original file. So here's the color grade and I think that is looking okay. Now you can zoom out and check a before and after of this entire process. You can zoom in and check a before and after again. And I think that is looking amazing. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the raw file and also the retouching and color grade actions that are inside the Cradle Bundle Pack 2023. Leave some comments down below. Let me know if I'm understandable or not. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.